Hello, let's do the New York Times Hard Sudoku for January 25th, 2024. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself, and I'm going to get started right now. All right, um, this box looks interesting. Yeah, it needs a three and a six, and this three six looks up, and this six looks in. So if we can do the six by itself, this six looks in, this six looks in, six is placed, and now we can do the three, which looks up, and that three is placed. We are left with one and nine, it looks like. That's a good start. <laughs> uh, actually, I want to look at this row. Is there any? Yeah, let's look at this row, and then I'll see other things that match up. Um, so this row needs a one, four, seven, and nine. I think that's worth marking, because we have this one, four here. We have this nine here. We have this one. And, yeah, one, four, seven, nine. We're going to get a lot out of that. Um, the other thing I noticed is seven can only mean one of these two, so that's going to claim the box. That does mean that seven is in one of these two as well. We cannot put sevens here, because if we put sevens here, there'd be nowhere to put seven in this row. So that's called claiming. And then this is that you can this you can think of this as pointing as well, because this is the only place for seven in this box. So we could have seen it that way. These are pointing, so these can't be seven. So either way, it does put sevens up here. Um. Two, three, eight. We need a three in one of these two. We need a six down here somewhere. Um, can I do anything else over here? All right, I'm noticing this two, three, or sorry, not three, this three, five, nine, and this two, four, eight all converge on this one cell along with the six, right? And it sees a seven. Yeah, this is a naked single. Look at that. Do you see it? It what digit can it only be? Let me just go through it with you. So we're looking at this cell. It can't be a two, can't be a three, four, five, can't be a six, can't be a seven, because what we just said, either these pointing sevens or these claiming sevens, it means it can't be a seven. Can't be eight or nine. So that's a one. Very nice. So that actually places one in this row. So you get the one and the nine here. Um Okay, what what can we do off of this more? Uh, we do need a one. We need a one in this box now, uh, and these ones look in, and this one looks in. So that's a one there. Um, oh, that kind of finishes the ones for the column too. I do need a one in one of these two. Let's mark that. Um, let's see. There's four left in this row. What do we need? We need a two, four, five, and eight. Well, this can't be two, four, or eight. So this is a naked five. <laughs> And then we're left with two, four, and eight. It's not a four, but that is a triple. Two, four, eight, triple does mean that this has to be the seven, because it can't be four anymore. And that makes that nine that four. Yeah, that, that was just a hidden four for the box as well. But we're left with a triple here, six, seven, nine. And we're left with a pair here. Looks like three, five. Hey, look, <laughs> just had to pay attention to the top band enough, and we managed to almost finish it. Always love when that happens. All right, so now obviously we're moving on to the next band here. So we have two ones looking in here, and this one looks down. So it's a one and one of these two. Uh, there's a lot of op opportunities for crossings here. So let's take a look. Yeah, I already see one with four. So this four looks down. This four looks in. I'm looking when I see when I when I talk about crossings here. These two green cells, right? It's two givens that share a, a row. They don't even have to be next to each other. They just have to share a row in the same box. When they share a row, there's going to be a column that I put in purple here that they don't occupy, right? Whichever one they don't occupy, that's what I mean by the one, the, the column you're going to look at. And you're going to look for any digits that are, first of all, we know what they are, so not these, and that aren't already in the box, so not the five. And then you're going to say, okay, four and six. Now you're going to look at these orange cells over here the, the, in the two rows that they don't occupy, and you're just going to look for fours or sixes. So we found a four. So we didn't find a six, so we can clear all this out. So now this purple four and this orange four are guaranteed to do something interesting in the box because they aren't the green cells and they aren't these cells. So they can only go here. So four is in one of those two. Now, what does that do? Well, that does pointing because four is now limited to the fours in this box are limited to the same row. And so that row only has a single four. So these can't be four or we would not be able to place four in this box or we'd end up with two fours in the row, which would also be bad. So this four looks in, these fours say these can't be four, and this four looks up, and that places this four here. 
So now we're going to look for more crossings. Actually, that's not a four. That places this four. All right, now we're going to look for more crossings. Nice. Um, nothing more on that two five. How about this four eight? So we would care about a two. And we, and we found it, right? It was so fast to find, right? Then we get a two in one of these, and that, that's immediately going to do something interesting, because now these can't be two. So the two's up here. Um, there weren't any other crossings on the 4-8. This 8-1 could have a crossing. It would be a 9. Um, I don't see it. Uh, this 3-4 could have a crossing. It would only be 9 or 4. That doesn't work. This 3-9 could have a crossing. It would be the 8. Uh, there's, there's no known 8 there, so that doesn't work. Okay. So we had a lot of opportunities for crossing, but didn't get much from that. I'm thinking about how this row now only has four digits left. So what are they? They are six, seven, eight, nine. This can't be six. These can't be eight. These can't be nine. Okay, let's just fill it. Six, seven, eight, nine. It's interesting how eight's only out here. Okay. Um, anything else to do in this band? One, four, eight in this row. I mean, we already have the one, four marked, and these can definitely be eight. So, okay. One, one thing I'm thinking about is where's eight in this column? In fact, this column is down to a triple, but we know the eight's going to end up down here. But what is the triple for this column? It is two and eight and what? The six. Ah, there's just the six. Okay. Two, six, eight. Oh my gosh. Two, six, eight. There we go. That's better. So we know eight's down here. Uh, does that do anything? These aren't eight. I guess eight's in two places here, but that's not super helpful. Okay, what else can we get out here? One, three, nine. Actually, does that? Ooh, one and three are kind of interesting, but not not interesting enough. Darn. Okay, sorry. I thought I saw something with that, but there's it's not quite ready. The nine though, the nine is down here. We can mark that. Would have seen that from vertical scanning, but no reason not to get it early. Um. This one four eight we looked at. Did we look at the four? Oh, okay. So we have a four and an eight looking down here. So I, I guess I guess the four is here and the eight's here. Okay, not as exciting as I hoped, but I noticed this four. These couldn't be four eight. So, um, okay. Anything else happening here? What about cross? I guess I'm moving on to this band at this point. Uh, we do have a crossing on the sixes, so these sixes look in. A lot of crossings today. So these sixes point in, this six looks in, no sixes above. So sixes are just up here somewhere. Um, anything else? No, not, not on that. The one seven, the twos or the one, no, the ones can't cross, but the twos could, but they don't. How about this three, six? Look, we have a four and a five. So that actually gives us a hidden four or five pair here, which is quite nice. Um, noticing these fours line up, we already have a four up here, so that doesn't matter. But this hidden 4-5 does mean that this can't be 4. It places this 4. This is now a pair. Uh, 7 and 8. Ooh, it's resolved. This 8 resolves it. That's 7, that's 8. Okay, look what just happened. These 4s and 8s, we eliminated one of these 8s. So these 4s and 8s now overlap. So this is a hidden 4-8 pair in the box. So now we can actually see these 4-8s look down, and these 4-8s look in. There's only two places for 4-8 in the box. That's what our corner marks were telling us. So. Let's think about what these four eights did. Whenever you get a hidden pair like this, this I should have done it for this as well, but I got a little distracted. But let's do this. I don't know which one to do first. Let's do let's do this first. Um, they eliminated any other digits that could have gone there. So we already knew about the one and the two. So this one had three eliminated, and I'm just looking at the consequence of this not being three for both the column and the box and the row. You, you can look at it everywhere, but I'm not seeing anything super interesting about threes right now. Um, they can be four still. They can't be five. So I do have this five looking in, and I have this five looking in. Ah, well, that's perfect. So it's almost like a crossing on this four eight. We have this five looking in, this five looking in, and this four eight can't be five anymore. So we can place this five. That gives us the four and the five. That gives us the eight and the four. That gives us the two, the six and the eight. Wow. OK, so that's not a six. Uh, just got a bunch of digits, so let's think about that. Um, this four five. Okay, so I should fill this triple and think about this box. And I got okay. There's a lot of things to look at. Uh, this triple and this triple. Let's start with that. Um, always good to start with triples. So we need a one, two, three, four, five. We need six and nine. 
Ooh, nice. This sees six and it sees one. So that's the nine. That's the one. That's the six. We get the eight. We get the seven. That's not a one that places one in this box. These aren't seven anymore. Oops, aren't seven anymore. So they are six, nine pair. All right, that was already really good. Actually, I'm going to just finish this column maybe. Yeah, this, this is the only place for one in the box now. And then this is a three. This is a triple at worst. Uh, we need a two, seven, and nine. Okay, well, it is a triple. Okay. Uh, how about this row? We need a three, seven, and nine. Okay. Oh, <laughs> this sees seven and nine of all things. All right, that's three. That's nine. That's seven. We get the six and the nine here. We get the seven, six, and nine. We get the five and the three. Basically, everything's resolving. All right. We got this six. So this is a pair now. Uh, basically, wherever I look, I'm going to find things at this point. That's a three and that's a two because this two looked down. That gives us this two. We get the nine and the two. Nine and six in this box are placed by our corner marks. We need a seven. This is a two or eight. Can't be two. That's eight and two and eight. That's a two for the box. This is a five. This is a three, it looks like. And the remaining digits are five and seven. And yeah, wow, that claps fast. <laughs> I'm late to solving this one. Already 43 solves on it. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, let's see. I really liked how the top band ended up resolving. I think we had to find this naked single one to do it. So it's neat how, how much of an effect that had. Uh, and it was these claiming sevens in the row, or these pointing sevens in this box, that actually made it a, a naked uh, single. So that was nice. Um, what else did we have? We had this four, five hidden pair in here that was nice. That's there from the start. Really cool to get from the start, um, which actually let us place this four, if I recall. And then this hidden four, eight, which we didn't get till we placed this eight. So that, that was later in the solve that you could have found that. But you get all these four eights looking in. And then that gave us the five in the box, which was neat. I always like when that happens. So yeah, interesting puzzle today. There were a lot of crossings as well, a lot of pointing going on, a lot of claiming. So good stuff. Uh, let me know how you uh, did on this one. And if you enjoyed it, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.